Sad's uh, a week since Saturday. What a fantastic result. Uh, talk us through the week since that Saturday in training. How's it all gone? Uh, training's been good since the, the result we had on Saturday. But kind of forgot about it now. And we've just got to push, push on and just look forward to the games that are coming. And, and what's the mood like between within the lads? Obviously, everyone, such a, a strong performance from, from everyone that was out there. What's it been like training? Everyone seems to have a smile on their face. I think, well, it's been the same. It's been the same training, it's always good and every week everyone comes in and just puts in 100%. And I think the result on Saturday just showed our hard work that we've been putting in throughout the whole season. And we just got to keep on just tra keep training the same and just putting in performances. And talk us through your individual performance on Saturday. Probably many are calling uh, one of the best you've had so far this season. How did you sum up your performance on Saturday? I think it was good. Personally, I was good. But I don't, I don't see what everyone else is raving about. I, think I just got to the game and just enjoyed my football, which I've been trying to do the whole season. And I've just got to keep on just going out there, just having fun and get a few points. You got your goal, uh, and a great goal it was too. Um, that must give you a lot of confidence as well. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I don't need to score goals in the position that I'm playing. Obviously, if I score goals, then it's an addition to the position that I'm playing, but um, my confidence is always the same, win, lose or draw. I just stay focused, just go into the every, every game uh, with the same mindset, I'm just trying to do my best for the team. And you looked as if you were at times playing slightly further forward on Saturday than maybe you have done in the past. Is that something that you're looking to get more into the game? Obviously, you do the defensive part so well, but obviously attacking, you, you look pretty good as well on Saturday. Yeah, um, it, it all depends on how the game is going. My role isn't to attack, it's to start attacks. And if a game's open and I've got the opportunity to go forward, then I will. And if I don't, then I won't. So it all depends on how the game's going. And, and also on Saturday, a side that we've played twice already, obviously not quite got the results you wanted. Uh, what sort of test are you expecting on Saturday from a, from a side in form? I think it'll be, it'll be a good test. It'll be physical, they'll be hard for it. But again, just just a game of football and we just got to go there and be better than them. And obviously having played them twice already and, and suffered those defeats, is, is there more of a, is that a bit of a motivation in the camp to actually let's go there and, and let's turn things around and get a result there? Does that sort of motivate you guys? It does, but it doesn't matter who we're playing against. It doesn't matter if you play against also three or four times in the season. I think every game is just as important as, as another game. So we just got to go in there. It's a league game. We need three points every game so we just got to go in there and just try and get the points and obviously after a result like Saturday how important is it to use that as a springboard maybe now to, to push on for the second half of the season um, Saturday was a big one for us um, I think if we can be consistent with the performances like that then we'll be in a good place I think the most important thing is just to be consistent not get too excited over one performance it's just, it's just one game and it's a long season there's a lot of games coming so we've got to quickly forget about Saturday and just try to be consistent for the season. And obviously Gavin Mildy in interim charge at the moment. How has it been working alongside them? I know they've been here at the start of the season, but they've had to step up in their role recently. How how has training been and how have you enjoyed it personally? It's been it's been enjoyable. Um, Gavin Mildy are top, top, top guys. And I think um, they're learning as much as we're learning. So we're all helping each other achieve our goals. And uh, the goal celebration on, on Saturday, we were privileged to see it when, on the day you signed, we saw it. Um, what's the meaning behind that? Is that something you can safely share on camera? No, it all started at Chesterfield last season. I think we had a FIFA tournament and uh, every time I score a goal, I do the celebration. And then I think the following game after the FIFA session we had, I scored. I done the celebration and everyone loved it. Since then, when I score, just my first goal anyway, I'll do it. Yeah. And obviously Marcel joined in after the goal. We've got it on video. We've got huts in the room doing it as we speak about it. Has it been something that you've got the other lads involved in as well? No, nah, it was a secret. I've got another one in case I score again, but no one ever knows what I'm going to do until I do it. And just finally, I know your main focus is on Swindon Town, but obviously African Nations Cup qualifiers starting in March. Is there a little element in your mind thinking, actually, you know, if I keep performing the way I am, there's a chance that potentially, you know, Gambia is there, there's a, there's a chance for me to feature there potentially? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the African Cup for an African country is it's a, it's a big one. And it's my childhood dream to play for Gambia. And if the opportunity comes, 
I've got to think about it. obviously the qualifiers is gonna come in the important part of the season. So then when it, when I do get a call up or if I do, then I've got to, I've got to think about it. But I'll def, definitely something to consider because it's a big one. It's not going. <laughs> thanks, Ads. Thanks a lot. We'll hold you to that. Thanks, Ads. Thank you.